Hey everybody, SlayerXTR here from GamerFusion.com, empowering your gaming, bringing you the next part in our Let's Play of Amnesia, Machine for Pigs, for the PC. Let's go ahead and get these lights on and let's get this started. Oh. Ring, ring. Let's get these lights on. There we go. Okay, I'm answering, I'm answering. Such visions. The fuck? Okay, that served no purpose. Chair. A creepy mask on chair. Taking that chair. Thank you. Okay, so let's close this door. Now, there's actually a little story behind what I'm doing now. I actually have already played this part. What had happened is XSplit didn't record the game itself. It only recorded my face cam, so it left me basically having to redo this part. But with autosaves, it comes in handy, so that's a good thing about this game that I enjoy so much. Is that. Makes it a lot easier for this stuff. May 1st, 1899. But then what if they could stand up right and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no. No, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross the that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. All right. So we got that to make our way through here. Shut that door. Hmm. See, there's another node in here. Ugh. Forgot about that. I can't pick nothing up out of there, which sucks. Okay. Shut. All right, here's another note. Ha <laughs> ha. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employ talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie been buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and re reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me there's a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Nice. It's very cryptic, but uh, that's not what we're needing to do. We need to go through here. Uh, check the bathroom out. There's nothing actually in here that I remember. But it is a nice bathroom for that time. Looks actually really good for what year it is. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm assuming it's early 1900s, like real early. I can't remember what the synopsis said for this game was, but the clues tell me are like early 1900s. October 11th, 1899. We interrogate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them into the from the holding pins onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components or the products or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. And we have actually found that intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Bussy particularly effective in this regard. That's really weird. I wonder what they mean by product exactly. We will soon find out though. I'm a s Alright. This is locked, as I recall. Hello? Noop. Noop, 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 noop. Like I said, I've already played through this part, so I already I kinda know what's gonna happen. So I'm not gonna act scared when something happens when I've already played through it the first time. Which kinda sucks for you all because you won't get to see the reaction. I mean, some things are still going to creep me out, but 
not as much as like the piggies. Oh, hello, piggy. Okay, we need to go through here. So what we're doing is we actually have to. There's a truck down here. We got to fuel and move and crank it up and move it out of our way to get to the. There's a graveyard on the other side to this church. So we got to do that. See, we're missing the gas, the fuel cell. Ooh, another note. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet those damned schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. Mm. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it. And the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod, it says I, enough for a night, and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. Alright. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. Um, I can see more pictures at the top. I can't. Oh, there they go. His kids. See, there's really nothing you can do here except for a go. Th you need to go in here. Move this open a little bit. And so I've noticed anytime your light flickers, there's a creature usually coming. But right now we're okay. So. This guy's like, can he must carry be carrying this one handed. So it must not be heavy at all. Then we have to go back in here, and there's like a pump station we got to put attach this to and start messing with. Which is where the real fun begins. So we'll go ahead and get this started. Shit. Oh, so I still jumped at that, but you actually are supposed to run out of here. I don't know if something actually chases you, but that's what the journal says. Yeah, there's actually a lot of these. I'll stop so you can pause it to look at these. This has to do with us right now. I'll read this one. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy. I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination cannot fall onto hollow ground. So we need to go back and finish pumping that. I closed the door behind me because I was not sure he chases you or not. So... So we need to go ahead and refuel this. Go ahead and finish up. Quickly as possible, you never know. And you think this would be pretty heavy for him. But after playing out last, I'm in these games I'm just starting to be a little bit faster at my movement and getting the hell out of dodge quickly. Now we gotta do is plug that here. Look at the ugh, pig mask. I don't think I recognized that before when I played it the first time. Crank that up. Move that out of our way. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course, of course we can take it home. And see, this guy's not like a fruitcake like Daniel was and losing his memory. This guy just had uh, had some bad luck in Mexico. Alright guys, well this is where I cut off the last time and 
the last one, I'm not mistaken. I'll go in and make sure of this. Livestock and Bibles. Higgledly, piggledly, blue china eyes. My love comes to me in the fairest disguise. We skips and we totters. I seize her hind trotters and find her, her person thighs. That don't sound crazy at all. I'm going to be checking one thing really quick. So I put you guys on like a a hold here for a second, but I want to make sure that I have the the right part. I'm not, I'm not overdoing it. Just take me one second. Well. See here, I'm still looking. So give me just a second. Okay, let me look really quick. I want to make sure. I'll know in here in just a second, actually. I just need to go up here really quick. Yeah, this is where I left off in the last one, and uh, before it got met, before it actually was messed up and everything, it just didn't record. And it just recorded all black, which XSplit does sometimes if you accidentally hit the wrong button and go to the, like the wrong screen. So I'm going to end it here. The other video is already up for part four, so I hope you guys enjoyed part three and what you missed before. And I'm sorry about that. I'm hoping it won't happen again. It shouldn't. So I hope you guys had a have a good day. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been one of those long days. But anyways, this is SlayXTR signing out with GamerFusion.com, empowering your gaming. Hope you guys have a good day. And I'll be doing some more parts here real soon for y'all. Have a good one, guys.